Well, this is a lovely group of young ladies. They're little Vogue dolls, eight inches tall. They're Ginny dolls. Yes, they're Ginny Vogue dolls. From the early 1950s. Probably from the papers we found with her. Mm -hmm. um, it was 50... 55 or 56? No, it was 56 or 57. Yep, and they have a very interesting story. You tell the story because I wasn't there. Oh, uh, I wished you were there. <laughs> I don't know. You called me up and asked me if you, you should take the leap, and I said yes. Well, yes, yeah, because you got to understand that these two dolls uh, came in a box. Now, Huge I don't mean a box, box like like the little box next to the one in the in the uh, gingham, the red gingham. They came in a huge box of many, many different things. And all I could see was this one box that looked like it had a doll in it. And it had a bunch of other miscellaneous things. Well, they had their big sister, Jill, who was mm -hmm. in absolutely perfect condition. And I've never seen one before. No, and all of her clothes that came with it. We had oh, to yes. sort those. We but I did not know this when I bought them. So no. yes, it was a huge leap of faith. And these two young ladies, were naked, <laughs> had no hair, uh, but these three outfits, they were they were included when we, it was kind of like a treasure trove. Of this one little girl that she got for every Christmas, every birthday. Mm -hmm. she got the cards from her aunt. Um, and she, They were all in this box. They were all in this box. It was kind of like opening up a box at Christmas that uh, didn't end. It did. quickly <laughs> and we didn't understand what belonged to what because we had never seen a jill doll before which was their big sister we hadn't we didn't know what went with what and come to find out this little girl um kept everything including the little shoes that the dog had chewed because this young lady right here she can't close her eyes anymore no because she was bitten by a dog well she was attacked by a dog <laughs> her head uh, has many tooth marks in it but she now has her own wig she does and she's wearing an outfit that was in this box those skates were in the box mm -hmm. everything was in the box these two little ones were purchased so that they could model some of these the lovely little clothes. clothes that came with these two dolls over here that the dog just decided to have fun with. Yeah, and then this young lady, she uh, she didn't have a wig either, and uh, but she what did have this box, and because of this box, it says she's a tiny Miss Forty. I looked up what a tiny Miss Forty would have looked like and I found this dress and that's what this she is what came she would have came in so I don't do this very often but I bought her her original outfit and I bought her a new wig and now that is essentially what she would have looked like when she came except her shoes are not original the reason we did it is because when you went through those things you found out how much this little girl appreciated mm -hmm. everything she had and loved it so much and most of the outfits still had their original boxes yes most you don't find that very there often. were so many boxes we still have some of those boxes mm -hmm. and there were so many boxes she kept everything there wasn't anything she didn't keep what the the little plastic tube that the that her skates came in everything was kept mm -hmm. all the jills jewelry the jill everything everything was kept by this little girl so we decided we were going to continue loving these dolls as she did and i really hope everybody enjoyed this longer short video <laughs> <laughs> uh hope you had fun we did bye everybody bye <laughs>